Hey filmmakers, Shun here. In this video, we're going to show you how to simulate motion blur in Premiere Pro on titles. So most of the effects like this moving in, you can see every frame of them is sharp. And if you play it, it looks a little bit choppy because there is no motion blur on it. So we're going to add a little bit of blur effect, which is directional blur. This is the easiest way. So this is going to left and right, so it's on a 90 degree axis. And we're going to keyframe the blur. First we choose the point where it's going to be still sharp. And we're going to choose the other side and add blur to it. So it's going to be, you can see it's going to be blurry when it comes in and then get sharp so play that so now it has a yeah pretty easy way to add motion blur to your titles and also this works if the title is actually moving from an angle so we are however you also need to change the actual angle of the directional blur so the blur angle is actually like this, five minus forty-five degrees, and so it also works in a direction. So, however, this effect works really good on titles. However, if you are planning it on, uh, yeah, doing it with a uh, full image it actually doesn't work that well so we add this photo here let's remove this so we have this photo here and we are going to add a simple transition so also a slide so this photo slides in However, with the directional blur, here, we change the angle and here, this edge is far too sharp. Um, if you want to try it, you can also, um, yeah, there are certain edge effects but I'm not quite sure if that's going to um, really help because we have feather edge doesn't do much it still has like a sharp edge here so if you are planning it to use it on uh, images that slides in, it's not going to work because it kind of retains its edge too much. But if you are using it for titles, it actually works really well. So that was mainly it. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. If you have any questions or want to see a different tutorial, please comment below and I'll hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.